There's a lot of talk about AI taking over, but I believe programming and learning how to code is still incredibly important. Most people are afraid that the market is full, but I believe that as long as you're passionate about it, you have a problem-solving mindset and you're creative, then you can beat most of programmers who are there just for the money. If you're not passionate, it will be a long, hard road. When I started, it was easier to break in because I had an app that I wanted to build and I knew at that point I had to do it no matter what it took. I loved it that much. Make sure you feel the same way. I think in the future, polyskilled people will be more and more valued since only knowing how to code will not be competent enough, with AI cutting down the entry barrier of most industries. There are no shortcuts, so you need to put in the work. You need to learn the basics like HTML, CSN, and JavaScript and get really good at them. It takes time and practice. AI can help you write code, but you still need to understand it. If you get tired easily, it might not be the right fit for you. You have to be persistent, willing to put in the hours and write a lot of code to master the logic and structure. By being passionate about programming and putting in the hard work, you will find a lot of fun in life. You will start thinking about everything programmatically, become geeky about it. You will become more curious about this world and that's a good thing. In order to have positive feedback to keep going, you need to make a detailed plan. Break down your learning into specific courses, weeks, and even lessons. Define the objectives of each learning. For example, after this lesson, I'll be able to make this. The more detailed your plan, the more likely you are to stick to it. For example, plan to learn HTML in three days, one week on CSS, and another one week on a specific project to really nail it down. And you need to measure your execution. Ultimately, you have greater control over your actions than over your results. Your results are created by your actions. According to the 12-week year, an execution measure indicates whether you did the things you said were most important to achieving your goals. Productive tension is an uncomfortable feeling, but since we have this natural inclination to resolve it when confronted with discomfort, it can boost productivity. That's why we need exact deadlines for ourselves with exact plans that are clear and easy to execute. Distractions are our biggest enemy. If you stay focused, you will make real progress. I don't know if you have this feeling, but for me, whenever I get back from traveling for even three days, the code looks rusty to me and I need some time to fully immerse myself into it and understand it before I continue working on it. If you keep changing your mind, you will get nowhere. Think about it, if you allocate 9 months to get through this course and build all the projects and you can push through without distractions, you will look back and be amazed at how much you've learned. But most people, 9 months from now, will still be looking up better paths or quicker paths and will still be in the same position they're in now. So this is where it makes the true difference. You need to step out of your comfort zone and believe in your skills. It's normal to have this imposter syndrome. And the worst part is, you might not feel confident enough in front of other CS graduates. But the fact is that not all CS students chose this career path of their own free will. That means some of them are force-fed, with no real interest in computer science at all. So this might help you feel a little better if you're truly passionate about programming. I was afraid of being judged by them and maybe you will encounter something worse. That is, people may tell you that you just don't have it. You're just not talented to do this. Like, if you've been studying this long and you don't get it, just go ahead and quit. Go try something else. But I always believe there are no bad students, only bad teachers. So if you're stuck learning to code, there must be something wrong the way you are learning it. And it's okay to fail a few times, it's part of the process. But you have to push through and believe that you've put in the needed time and understand the craft. Learning with AI is recommended, but only to use it as a teacher, not the nerd you hire to write all your homework. Focus on mastering the fundamentals on your own. This will give you a strong foundation and make you more valuable in the long run. AI can help you write code, but you should figure out the basic logic and structure and only let AI to do the dirty work. Learning to code is challenging, but it's definitely doable. It takes hard work, passion, and a solid plan. What do you think? Are you ready to give it a shot? Let me know in the comments.